Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and today we are talking about this X-Tool P2 laser, and we are focusing on the amazing camera system it does have. Now, this is a top-of-the-line laser cutter the X-Tool does sell. Not only is it a CO2 laser, the only one they have so far, it also is the only one with a camera system. Now, this is the first laser cutter I've ever owned with that camera system, so I kind of didn't know what I was missing before, but I just kind of want to show the viewer exactly what a camera system does, how accurate it is, and you can decide for yourself if it's something that you want to upgrade to this high-end model that Xtool sells. With all that being said, let's get to doing some tests with this camera system and see how well it does. Now, the first test we're going to do is we're going to use that kind of wide-angle lens. We're going to take an overall view of the whole material. What I'm using is, this is a 12 by 12 inch sheet, and we have some things that are already cut out. Now what's great about a camera system when you have some cut out things like this, is you don't really need to waste that much material. In a traditional system, like a lot of this material will be wasted because you can't really focus on areas that still have kind of material to use. That camera system, we should kind of be able to pinpoint, use all this, all this material, probably even the, the little scraps, that we haven't used, and you can kind of still line some stuff up to be usable material. Now for three millimeter plywood like this, this is probably is not a big deal, a little waste is acceptable, but if you're using some more expensive materials, if you're using like pure hardwoods or some acrylics or anything like that, you really don't want to be wasting material. And I feel like a lot of people are looking at a machine like this when you're getting into that dollar amount as a business machine, it's not just a hobby machine. So waste of material can really start adding into your, your profits. All right, so let's lay down our material. We'll take a picture of it and we'll kind of line up a few areas to cut and see how it does. All right, I got my picture here all lined up. This, this is my material. And I'm gonna put some star shapes on there. So I'm gonna kind of fit some star shapes on the piece. I'm going to drag it down, kind of resize them here. To zoom in, I'm just hitting the control button and the scroll wheel on my mouse. And you can kind of zoom in and out. Kind of resize that there. So I'm going to cut these stars out. So I'll go to 100% and then copy and paste some more. Now if you make your original star and you get your power settings and speed done and then you copy those, those power and speed settings are saved so you don't have to keep readjusting each one for the more stars you make. So it goes, goes really quickly just lining up. As you see those uh, helping lines that kind of follow the stars below it, it makes it really easy to line these all up straight. So I can go to process this. Start, and I'm just hitting the button on the machine and it's ready to go. All right, there you go. As you can hopefully can see the stars, they're all lined up. Worked out perfectly. So this is really the benefit of that camera system is when you need to do uh, specific things like this, not that I needed to do these stars, but this is a great example of how I already had cutouts, but wanted to use that material. Or if you already had something done that you wanted to add a little something extra to, just taking that picture with the camera and being able to set it up in the software so quickly, as you saw, I was just copy pasting put those stars all down in a row, went really quickly. All right, for the next test, we are gonna try to do some engraving. So these are probably, it's three millimeter thick plywood. This is probably another three millimeters wide. And I'm gonna try to engrave on all these surfaces. Now I'm also gonna just try to use that uh, kind of wide angle camera. We're not gonna zoom in quite yet. That'll be the next test. But let's just kind of see how the camera does more on the wide angle, we'll do it really quickly, another copy and paste, and just kind of see how accurate it is. All right, hopefully you can see that. We'll just kind of follow along here. So that's the, the images here. I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit. So that is not the current image. That's the old image I have. I'll delete those stars. 
And then we're gonna, oh, I gotta reconnect the, reconnect the system here. All right, re reconnected here. We'll do a refresh. All right, and then we got our new system. So, or the new picture, I should say. So if you hit the control button on the keyboard, that's how, and you can scroll wheel in here. Let's do some simple text. What I always like to do, why not? Chad DIY. That's going to probably be kind of hard to see. I can drag it down. If you can see that a little better. All right, we're going to scroll that. We're going to set this into engrave. Let's go, I don't know, 30% at 120. And then we're going to keep resizing that Chad DIY until it, until it fits on that thing. And here's another thing I don't have, I don't have that piece of material perfectly lined up there. So I'm gonna rotate this a little bit. All right. All right, now I'm gonna copy and paste this here. Now this is going, you can do this quite quickly actually. So this isn't a big time waste here. We'll just do the one side here. All right. And we copy and paste, all those settings are saved for each one so you don't have to redo all the settings for engraving. They're all gonna be at that 30 and 120 speed. We'll process that, we can shut all right, there we go. Shut that down. You have to shut it, and then when you start the machine, it's really cool, it locks in place. So we're gonna hear that click. That's a click, it locks in place and starting the process. So that is a little hard to see, but if you can see, hopefully that zoom in, probably can't, but it was a little cut off there. So this is, uh, this is a good example of how these camera systems aren't always necessarily exactly precise, and especially with that wide angle lens. Now with the stars, it turned out great, I think, and possibly that could be because there's a little bit more margin for error in these stars. These stars are probably a little off, just like these little Chad DIYs are a little too tall compared to what I had in that camera system. But part of that is getting to know your machine too. So if you don't want to do the zoom in feature that we're going to test out next, and if you just kind of want to do that more wide angle, you get a feel for the machine. So you can set your piece in the center like that, hey, I'm gonna know next time, I just need to lower those Chad DIYs a little bit. That's kind of how that camera system works. It's not ideal with that wide angle lens, but you're, getting, uh, you're going for speed on that where that was really quick to set all these up. Next time I'd know just to kind of lower them a little bit and you get them nice and center. But now let's move on to not doing that, just the wide angle quick camera, but we're gonna kind of zoom in with that secondary camera and hopefully we're gonna get a lot uh, more accurate results going that, that way.
Now for our final test, we're gonna use that zoom in camera and we're gonna engrave a couple pencils. Now one tricky thing about pencils for the auto thickness when you're doing your material settings, if you have a sheet of plywood, it's easy for that laser to hit the thickness and know exactly how thick it is. Pencils can be a little bit more difficult. There's not much uh, meat there, if you will, for the laser to hit it. So you just kind of want to make sure the thickness is right for the materials when you're engraving something like this. But uh, let's try this test out. So we have our initial picture set up of that pencil. Let's capture the close view here. And we'll... And the camera is... If you, if you can hear that noise, that laser head came over with the camera and it shot a picture here. We'll try to get some B-roll footage of that and we'll uh, splice that in. But now we kind of have a more precise picture of what's going on here. So let's, uh, let's try that Chad DIY again and see how that goes. The settings, maybe do a little thicker this time, or a little darker, I should say. Once again, hitting that control on the keyboard and the scroll wheel on the mouse is how you zoom in like that. All right, that is looking pretty good there. All right, so thickness, I'm hitting this. It's gonna say, select the area you wanna measure on the canvas. So I'll go about right like that. And, and so you want that laser beam to come over. I know we're just looking at, at the software here. Laser beam to come over and hit, hit that pencil. So, what I found is you want it actually maybe a little lower than that to hit it. And that looks pretty good. All right, so we got the thickness in there. Let's go to process this. All right. Shut that lid. All right, so I got my pencil engraved. It turned out great, it went exactly where I wanted it. Now, the precision of that camera that actually moves, hovers over your piece, takes a picture, and then loads it in the software, it's hard to beat that. I know I did a review on the x S1 that has that dual point system that really works well. And for that price point, the, X, the S1 X-Tool, it's a great machine. You're looking at more than about double the cost in this machine. So it's kind of apples to oranges comparison when you're going with the S1 or the P2. But overall, it is hard to beat a camera system like this. Now, if you do have any questions on this X-Tool P2 laser, please leave them in that comment section below. I do try really hard to respond to all the comments I get, especially in a timely fashion as well. So yeah, any questions, I'll get back to you. I also will provide the affiliate link for this machine with my coupon code. So if you do decide to buy this machine or any X-Tool laser cutter, that coupon code is good for that. Uh, I know it's a big, this machine especially, it's a big decision, it's a big purchase, it costs a lot of money, but I do highly recommend it if you're thinking about starting a laser cutter business. There's nowhere else to look but this machine. So yes, I'll leave that affiliate link, leave the coupon code, and I appreciate it, it really helps out the channel. So with that being said, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and we'll see you on the next one.